Hi, welcome back to Engine Shop Joe. And on this channel, we talk a lot about fault codes because that's one of the things that tells us that we need to take a look instead of just keep on uh, moving down the road or running a machine or whatever. So tonight, I wanted to uh, kind of help you to see that fault codes fall into kind of three major categories. So we're going to take a look at these quickly and uh, when you're troubleshooting and faults come up, keep in mind what you're going to learn tonight because it will help you to make uh, better decisions when you're trying to, to decide uh, which way you need to go or what you need to do. So uh, let's take a look. So the first type of fault we have is what's called a system fault. And they call it that because the entire system, the ECM and the device, uh, let's use a VGT, for example, that communicate back and forth. could be a knock sensor. That system has to work. The ECM has to communicate out, and the knock sensor has to communicate back. So we're talking about a system fault. We're usually talking about it being not rational. Rational just means that it's inside of the parameters that the software expects it to be inside of. So you've got data not rational, it's too high all the time or excessive or drifted low, it's too low or too minimal, it's erratic, broken wire can cause erratic, intermittent or incorrect, data is a valid but above normal range. Uh, you might see that with deaf fluid temperature. The fault might say the data is valid but above normal range because it's a little bit hotter than it wants it to be. Uh, a condition exists or out of calibration. So condition exists just means that there's when it looked for the fault logic for it, there wasn't one. So it popped up condition exists. And you might see that on an SCR system, condition exists. And there's other faults that drive that. So again, these are system faults and they're not rational. Next are data link faults. You've got uh, public data links and private data links. An example of a private is on the 871 engine, the ECM over to the VGT on the early version of that engine was its own private data link. There was nothing else tied into it. A public data links would be after treatment tied into all the after treatment sensors and then moving up and maybe tying into the uh, NOx sensors on the engine. That would be a public data link. You can communicate on public or private data links generally. So what are the possible things you'll see in a fault code that are related to the data link? Receive network error, abnormal update rate, root cause not known, bad intelligent device, out of calibration. So all of those uh, reasons for the fault could be tied to something on a data link. Uh, but there are typically things that you see that are relating to the data link or the communication medium that the parts uh, communicate on, across, and through. Now the last group or category of uh, types of faults are what we call component faults. And in component faults, you've got electrical circuit problems and then you've got mechanical problems. So under electrical issues, you might see voltage above normal or shorted to high, voltage below, shorted to low, current above or current below. On the mechanical side, you might see not responding, abnormal rate of change, data erratic, intermittent or incorrect, abnormal frequency pulse width or period, and out of calibration. So an example of an electrical and mechanical that could overlap the VGT motor. You might see in the VGT abnormal rate of change or not responding. And that could mean that the VGT motor is telling the ECM, well, when I try to turn and move that rack, the rack won't move. So that would be an abnormal rate of change. But it could also refer to the VGT communicating back and forth to the ECM that it's not communicating at a normal pace. 
I think the VGT has to communicate to the ECM three times a second. So if it doesn't do that, that would be at an abnormal rate of change for the communication. So you can see how these will overlap or sometimes cross over. So keep in mind the three basic categories and uh, keep in mind kind of what they're tied to when you're looking at the faults and it'll help you to know whether you got to go maybe check the data bus or maybe pull the VGT and see if the, the rack is stuck.